Welcome to Rehash. On the internet where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. I'm Adam of Evil's Vox and you're watching Rehash. For those of you who are just joining us and missed the pilot episode, this is a show where we bring you news stories that are happening today, right now, uh, and then we also talk about channels that we think are up and coming in the Freedom Family. We also talk about um, comments, yeah. our lives, if you care about that. Click the video. It's like uh, oh, yeah. above my head, maybe? Uh, I think over there. I'm yeah. not sure how far over there. Yeah. Um, we've got a second camera angle. It's, it could be like way far. Bobby, away. Bobby, change it, change it. Yeah, try. Right. Bobby, Jim, dude, he, okay. dude, he's gonna hate you forever. I'm now. sorry, I'm sorry. It's Jimmy. Uh, okay, so um, this show is meant to spotlight channels that we think are awesome, and also bring you a little bit of news, talk about comments, all that stuff like that, yeah. and um, and basically just a forum for us to wave our hands around like this. Yeah, every every single time, every yeah. time. Okay, so uh, now that all that's been said, uh, also thank you to Epos Vox who uh, who introduced us. And uh, but you had a news story you wanted to discuss yeah, with me. So I wanted to talk to you mainly, but also with the freedom community uh, about real life GTA. I think like real life. Like, is this a place I can go and like? I mean, can can I buy a ticket to do this? Maybe. But, like, is this a virtual reality thing? But or? there has been some footage that surfaced on the internet, and I wanted to go over it and just get your thoughts. You know, uh, real-life GTA, it's pretty cool. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think real-life GTA should be a thing where you could play Grand Theft Auto in real life? Would you I don't do think it? anyone on the streets would ever be safe. Yeah, I would never go Because I, I don't know about you, but when I play GTA or any driving game, like, I, I can't control the car, so I'm always on the yeah. sidewalks. Right. Like, is that, a, is, like, is that everybody? Is that you? I mean, I, I can't... I just think it's more fun I mean, to run over the pedestrians. You're bound, than... to, you're bound to wreck sooner or later. That's the thing. Like, I, I decently drive, but eventually I'm going to wreck, like, really, really badly. All right. So, anyway, I wanted to show you the clip. And anyway, Jimmy, if you want to go and roll the clip, let the Freedom Family look at it. So my first reactions are that this is exceptionally well made. Bravo to what was the, what was the studio? Corridor Digital. Corridor Digital that made this. Uh, they got the camera angles just right. Um, I was pleasantly surprised to see some familiar scenery from the game, uh, and I was also the way that it ended. I'm not gonna spoil it. Make sure to <laughs> click down yeah. below um, about you know, how that was or how it ended. I, I loved it. Um, I even think that they got like the stealing of the cars and everything like down almost perfect. The, they, the best thing I loved about it was like when he would hit the people, the money would fly out of them. It's just like it happens. Totally, in totally. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just I don't know. Like it, it's stuff like this that makes me feel vindicated as a gamer. I'm just like yes. Yeah. This is stuff that we need to see all the time. You know, you need content like this. This also, is what makes it a great platform. Also, to all of you who are wondering if I said if I use the word vindicated properly, I'm wondering too. So Google that. Sure. Let me know. I actually don't know what that means. So uh, um, it sounded good. Yeah. It, was, it, it sounded like a nice word. Okay, you do that too. I'll yeah. do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I've got one here, um, which the Freedom Family can join us on um, somewhere around here. Around these parts right here. Okay, so there is an Indiegogo campaign going on right now within the Freedom Family made by a couple of people who are uh, partners of the Freedom Family. And I wanted to talk about this because they are making an awesome, um, like, a, like an episodic content. Uh, the best way I can describe it without showing you the clip, which we will here in a minute. Jimmy's getting that ready. Yeah. Um, 
the best way that I can put that is that it's like, um, of course I had to forget the name of it. <laughs> it's like VGHS, but with superheroes. It's awesome. Uh, Jimmy, roll the clip. So, does evolution follow a steady progression, or does it proceed by leaps and bounds? This is my kitchen. If you leave a mouse or touch my stuff, I will have to break you. How will you? My kitchen. I have an artist here who will work for 500 a day. No, come on. We need a student, a reckless partying student. So they show that now one in ten children are born with mutations or powers. Cheeky Bolt is a coming of age comedy based in a superhero world where the three different characters represent a different version of discovering a dream. We filmed a whole bunch of test footage and demo footage of all the special effects, of all the scenes with our actors because we want to show you guys this is what we want to make. If you want to see more of it, then get involved. So in the world of the peaks, basically everyone has, or one in ten people, are born with mutations or powers. Um, obviously Kate being telepathy, Ben has super speed, and my character of that is basically shits bricks. So as a freedom partner myself, that blows me away. I can't even imagine that someone of that skill set was able to do that, and the fact that they're partnered with freedom man, is pretty cool. I liked it. Superpowers, college. Awesome. I thought that it was um, it was similar enough for of to VGHS for me to uh, or as far as a concept. Now I don't know about the content itself, but as far as a concept, um, it's close enough for me to um, to identify with and for me to definitely want more. But, but it different is, enough right. for me to still be interested in right. this being finished. Now they are asking for a certain sum of money, which. If I were to do my job, I would know what that number is right now, but I don't. It's it's not a lot of money. I believe it was something like two thousand pounds, which yeah. is about four thousand USD. Because I'm, I'm not up on the, but it's not a whole heck of a lot of money. Um, and I would love to see them make this. Um, you know, I, I would love to you know see it come to fruition. And honestly, like yeah, just to have freedom involved in something like this. Even if we, you know, promote this now, it happens, and I get to look at this, you know, a year from now going, we out. Right, we but, like, but like I said earlier, in its own right, you know, that's still pretty cool. The fact that a freedom partner and his team were able to make that, it just blows me away. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, then I believe you have another newsy thingy. Yeah, the Fallout 4. Let me load it up real quick. Fallout 4. You know, I, I hate to say this, I don't really know a whole lot about Fallout. I know it's a game, and isn't that the game with that kid who's like, ah! Yeah. Now, I'm going to be honest here, too. I've only played the first one, and I didn't play any of the others. Uh, but the trailer... So and, that actually makes me feel better. Yeah. Yeah, so we're both going in this blindly. But i, I seen bits and pieces of the trailer, and uh, I was like, wow, this is uh, amazing, and take my money now. So Okay. So anyway, Jimmy, if you want to go and roll the clip for the Freedom Family, go ahead. I can do it now. Okay. But the cry. With the world poised on the brink of war, Vault Tech is reporting a record number. But me. Folks, uh, it seems we, we've got some breaking news. Stand by. the thing that I take away from this trailer is that dogs are truly man's best friend. I don't know if you saw it, but at one point, um, I'm, we'll try to edit this in, or maybe you could just go check out the video down there in the comments, or the, not the comments, the, the description. Um, that little thing down below. Yeah, with all the wordy text things. <laughs> right. um, there's actually a shot of a dog carrying saddlebags, which 
actually helps me mentally with um, some of the problems that I have with games. Yeah, where you like send your pet to town, it's got an inventory. You're yeah. like, where the hell is this dog putting this stuff? Right. So I, I really like that, and I'm I'm glad they put that in there. Oh, what do you think? I like it. I mean, every single time that I've watched, I've watched the trailer like two or three times. And not only do I want to throw my money at the screen, but it gives me cold chills. I mean, do you guys, does the Freedom Family play Fallout? And if so, what was your favorite Fallout? I'm very interested. I played the first one. I played about midway through it, uh, but I just lost track of other things that I was doing at the time. But let me know, what, I mean, what is your favorite Fallout? And, like, what is your favorite, like, scene or player or weapon? I mean, you know, be very descriptive. Okay, so um, one of the things in this trailer, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna segue this as professionally as I can, yeah. is that they show like this suit of armor that reminded me of like Terminator. Like I was expecting, you know, Arnold, or the, sorry, the Governor. Yeah. I was expecting him to pop out. That's a pretty good accent, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Um, I was expecting him to pop out and you know and say something, but he didn't. Um, which brings me to one of my things, um, and this is a strange segue, but you'll, you'll get it in okay. a second. Oh, jeez. There is a guy who has made a crazy sick laser. Now, let me tell you about this, this laser. Um, this laser is, um, it, it's so illegal to possess that... Can we even show it in the video? <clears throat> we can just show the is video so of it because it's someone else breaking the law, not us. Right. Okay. Um... <laughs> This is, uh, where is it? There it is. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's see here. Now, there is... Okay, so he created a laser um, at 40 watts. Now, 40 watts, as a light bulb, that doesn't sound... Right, I was say, that doesn't sound like a whole okay. lot. However, 40 watts as a laser right, is extremely um, crazy. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put up a clip of that because it is a YouTube video and we can do that kind of thing. Uh, J- Jimmy, J- put put the burrito down. Hurry up. Actually able to make this, it blows me away. I, I could, you know, not even contemplate the concept uh, of an actual laser gun. So it blows me away. I think it's awesome that he uh, took the opportunity to say that uh, because it wasn't technically illegal for him to build this thing, he just he had to do it. Anyway. it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I also uh, I picked up a piece of uh, of investigative journalism here. Um, Some research, a little bit of research, yeah. Um, which uh, all of my my geeks and whatnot should be really happy about. Um, in the movie Terminator, which goes back to why I was referencing Arnold for this one, um, Arnold says uh, when he's buying all of his weapons, the clerk asks him anything else, and uh, he says. Uh, a phase plasma pulse laser in the 40 watt range. That accent. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and then the clerk kind of looks at him with an annoyed face going, just what you see here. And he's, uh, he's like, that Uzi 9 millimeter. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, just the fact that Terminator looked like it, it this far. And of course, this is a very limited, I don't think you can really weaponize this realistically right. yet. Yeah. Yet. Right. Yeah. But you never know. You know, soon enough, we could have, like, it, this could lead to, um, I don't know, like... A yeah, hundred watt laser gun? Well, it? no, I was thinking, like, you know, Star Wars, like, you know, blasters. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so moving on from that, uh, just a reminder that uh, right now Nintendo is doing the World Championships 2015. First time they've done this in, like, 20 years or something. Uh, and to commemorate that... Um, I did find a really cool um, thing on from The Far Side, which is a comic series, um, talking about this from the first time it happened. If you're not familiar with The Far Side, you, you just lost your gig card. Just Jimmy. Saying. Jimmy. Throw it up so the Freedom Family can see it. There we go. Okay. So hopefully you paused your screen because that, that, that was kind of brief. Um, then again, you know, we're probably not talking to Jimmy. Do we? Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> And, of course, this wouldn't be rehash if we didn't talk about some of your comments. That you guys left us down below. So, let's see here. We're going to pull these up. Um, okay. So, we've got a couple of we've got a couple here that um, I guess were made and people didn't realize that they were already made. So, <laughs> let's kind of go through these. Um, DJTheS.com uh, says that he's not sure if it's been addressed in any videos yet, but is it possible or impossible to make Heartbeat available for Firefox as well? Um, 
It's been said that it will happen uh, eventually, uh, but right now with the rapid development, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have something that's going to be ported. You know, every every feature we have to why, report. Why, why not go ahead and get everything done then? At least the bulk of it, right? Right. Until we're working on more major, long, like development long features. Long-term goals, right? Um, so there's your answer. Um, and then uh, Desectra also asks, when's it going to be available for Firefox? Um, not really. We can't really answer that. Um, my personal suggestion is actually to switch to Chrome. It is a better browser, in my opinion. Um, and it actually gives you a lot more features all across the web, not just... Right, but just, you know, like, you know, we've taken your guys' comments, we're looking into it, and do know that that is something that we're looking into, but we, we just don't have a date right now. And then there's this one who's a little bit more critical on the same topic. <laughs> right. um, he says that we read every comment, yet we ignore comments that suggest heartbeat for other browsers. We're not ignoring it. We've yes, gone on the record many reading, times. We're reading all of them. Uh, we've gone on the record many times as saying, you know, it is something we want to do, but right now it would slow development. It would, it's just not where we really need to be. And not only that, but, you know... Chrome has the massive market share. I mean, Firefox is nice, and we do plan on maybe getting there at some point. But, I mean, it just doesn't make a lot of sense for us to... Yeah. No, anyway. No, right. No, I understand. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, and then we have... Oh, thank you so much! Uh, we have... Uh, Horsty 12 Horsty PMder. 12. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. Uh, who says that uh, the support for Google... Basically, he answers the question just like we did. Thank you so much. I give you a sticker, a thumbs up. You're, uh, you're a freedom fighter, man. Now, can we Fighting actually, for freedom. Can we, can we actually give him a sticker? Like, do we have stickers we can uh, give them? Um... Thank, thanks for being a buzzkill. No, we, we, there are no stickers. These, these are metaphorical stickers. Um... Or is metaphor... There's another one. Someone Google that. See if metaphorical actually fits what I just said. I mean, I'd like to. Have it to sounded that. good. But that's all for that uh, that section. So uh, yeah. as far as uh, that, that's really all I got. Other than to point out that Stargate um, 1994 release movie was actually the very first movie to ever have its own website. Don't know how that all fits in, but now you know. As far as uh, today's partner spotlight, of course, Epos Fox introduced us, so it's his channel we're talking about. Epos Fox does all kinds of crazy content on his channel, such as Let's Plays, tech reviews, um, all kinds of things. The guy's got like five channels, um, and we're actually going to keep his spotlight a little bit more briefly because he actually works for Freedom, but he was really quick to get the, the footage and, and all that into us. So be sure to check out his channel, linked down below. Um, and yeah. I mean, he's, he's a pretty talented guy. I mean, his videos are up to date. He posts relevant content that you guys may be interested in. So, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to go give it you know, a shot. I also, guess. he's got a really epic voice. Not quite this epic, but <laughs> epic. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. You need to do the outro. Um, if I can remember it. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching today, liking, commenting, doing all those things that make us love our jobs. And until next time, be sure to be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, Freedom A!